Um, collectively, the group here <laughs> is they're trying to find out you know what happened. Was this a tr- a trick, a magic trick? No, no, because the people that had died here are very dead, and their bodies certainly didn't turn to water and seep away. Um, somebody says they think that they were beset upon by escapees from like an asylum. Maybe there were some crazy people that jumped a train and then jumped off the you know, jumped off the train in Pine Box, found some costumes, and were here to uh, hurt people, and that collectively you're all in shock. You've been you've been sort of psychonometrically injured. And it's like a group thing because nobody can really give an exact account of what they'd seen because they were so scared. Some of the people left right away, but others are milling about you saying, how did you do that? You know, they're looking at you, Shep, and wondering where your um, fire extinguisher is that, that, that fired at that girl and probably knocked her, you know, knocked her to the ground where they couldn't see her anymore. And, and is this is this part of a show? They ask Erica, who's still standing on the billiard table. And she slumps a little bit. It's like, no, darling, this was real. I don't know what those things were, but figments of your imagination, they were not. And she's going to walk over. Looks like she's done this before. She glides over, puts her butt up, up onto the bar, Swings her legs over, and she jumps behind the bar. And it looks like she pulls out some whiskey and takes a big swig of it. And while she's doing that, she jams her arm up to the elbow into, it sounds like ice. There's probably a sink or a bucket full of ice back there for the mixed drinks. And it looks like she has just plunged her arm into the ice uh, to try to numb a little bit of the, of the injury that... Uh, the, not Aww. the not the injury, the the point of fatigue that she was yeah. suffering. Yeah. So I'm going to say that's been a while since we started a new session, and I'm going to say that that's enough to to get her back. Oh boy! <clears throat> I think y'all should uh, maybe go home and s- sleep off all this uh, occurrences tonight. And, Maybe wake up refreshed with a new outlook on things. Um, maybe a little sleep will give you all a little clarity. Anybody wants to hang around, though? Open bar, she says. And <laughs> oh the one bartender who she walked past says, Yeah, er- anybody want a drink? <laughs> there are a couple. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> The cop is uh, sitting on the booth, both hands in his, both he- his head in both of his hands, uh, sobbing yeah. convulsively as he realized what he did. I, uh, I'm wondering what's going on over there, but that's a man, so I'm gonna go over to Shep and point over. <laughs> He's like, "There's too many. There's too many guys here." <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, that's right. Some of them are vaguely <laughs> threatening and still others smell scary. like they, they haven't bathed in a while, maybe. Like, Chef, do you the, the most... Is the cop still here? I don't know. It he seems dangerous. But yeah, pleasant thing like... is they smell like alcohol. Mm-hmm. Even if if and Shep's kind of whispering to Ava, even if he's, if he was charmed, I think a part of him really wanted to do that. Oh, that's really sad. I'll uh, take a drink. Sure I don't thi- want to be here anymore. Sure thing, Sophie. Whiskey? <laughs> you know slides, what? I haven't tried it yet. Why slides, not? Slides a, a little shot glass over to you. Looks like it's filled up to the brim. Watch out, it's got, oh, a, yeah. it's got a little bit of a kick to it. It's not exactly top shelf, but it'll do it. Wait pinch. a second. You can't have that, Sophia. You 
yet you can't tell me what to do and then i just <laughs> bring it back yeah. erica erica pours you another one half this time she holds her she holds her second one up to you and says cheers darling cheers erica and so to your victory erica slams that one back too <laughs> back to half shot smooth and uh, watch. <laughs> officer, why'd you kill? officer, why'd you kill that boy? He didn't mean nothing. Why'd you, why'd you beat him to death? And he's like, I didn't. I mean, I did, but it wasn't me. I, I don't know what came over me. I just felt like I had to do it. Like he was a, I, I didn't have a, I didn't have a choice. And he just continues to, to sob. Oh Lord, it's. That's not our problem. Yep. What's your pleasure, darling? Bartender said it's open bar. I'm not going to make you one of them, vir- them there virgin daiquiris now, so don't even ask. <laughs> Just water. <laughs> After all, I'm the one driving. Oh, yeah, I ain't driving tonight. Hmm. Can we go, guys? Water, water, I, water. There's a lot of people here, water. and I'm not, I'm not keen on all. Of I know that. I look at her and I say, I know they have it because I use it to, to wash with. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she's like, look, she's like tonic water, seltzer water. <laughs> yeah, she, she's like, oh, I don't know if this is fit for human consumption or not. But she turns on the faucet and hands you a glass of like tepid water. Ava, how about you? you? You look like you could use a shot. No, no, no shots for me. No, that that's illegal. No, what? She puts two. She puts Not two here, down. On the, sure. She puts two down on the bar. Two shot glasses full of like a, a very rich amber liquid. Come on, what, darling, what drink, that? drink up. What is that? No, I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> It, it looks like uh, like pop, Ava. <laughs> Sheb looks oh, down at it, pop? looks over at. I, I don't know where the what Yankee village you came from that sells pop that that's that is that color. Uh, root beer. Root beer. You ever, yeah, root beer. <laughs> root beer. Ava slams another shot and slams her cup down on the bar. All right, I guess it's time to go to school, darling. I have, I have a coke. <laughs> you gotta kill One a witch. Many. <laughs> Come on, Ava, drink a drink. Stop nursing it. I'm gonna put a nipple on it if you don't just keep nursing it. Don't she make got... me do that. Don't make me do that, darling. <laughs> she slides. Up, get... She slides up I over the. Bar. Tell Erica, but you need to tell Sophia to chug hers. She's like she already did, darling. I I've drank like a shot and a half already. Oof. That's so funny. So, peer pressure. I, peer I don't know pressure. how well. How oh god! I hope this is. Gonna I be just I look, I look at Ava or at Erica and go. Don't tell Lenny she's a cheap date. Excuse me. Two drinks in and she's drunk. I've had nothing but like candy and some popcorn oh today. What are you expecting? You're all the way over there. You can't hear me. I don't know. I don't know, darling. Did you see her try to throw that spear? You think she could really do any worse? <laughs> it hit. It hit. She laughed. It may not have done much, but it hit. <laughs> what is what is in front of me as far as drinks currently? A single shot glass and a, 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 a tall glass of like tepid water in like an eight ounce tumbler that Erica had put it in front of Shep. Okay, that's so funny. Oh my god, Ava, you only live once. Come on, darling, drank it. Liquid that's courage. That's not true for me anymore. <laughs> drank it. Liquid. <laughs> it's liquid courage. I'm just. I'm looking at at Ava and going, thinking just if that if that is actually Erica style booze and how petite and tiny Ava is, this could be interesting. I'm going to do it for the lulls. Well, I'm glad I don't got to put a nipple on it. It'd be a shame to have. <laughs> it'd be a shame to have to nurse you. She's taking it with both tiny hands, and she sniffs it, 
and then she's gonna like do it real fast because Erica did it real fast and she's like well if the cool kids are doing it fast I'm gonna do it fast oh you can make a vigor roll because you're overthinking (laughs) (laughs) I'm just sitting there like don't laugh Ava it'll come out your nose um it's not bad it burns but it, it sort of has a pleasant warming effect through your like limbs and your chest and it leaves you like a little breathless and a little mm. a, li- a little flushed uh, you haven't felt flushed like this well probably since you were uh, watching the fireworks with Shep at the, at the Ren Fair wow that was good <laughs> 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 All right, y'all. We better we better be uh we better be hustling. Ah, I need a yeah. I need a good Texas, a good Texas saying. Um, we should go and help that boy. Yeah, let's go. Get to drink some of that water real quick, though. <laughs> All right, now, Ava, hey, one's enough for you. I don't want to see you get all swole up. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm good. Thanks. Yeah, I'm gonna let, let's go. There's there's too many men in here. All right. Looks like we're going to school now. Just remember. Uh think about what you're doing. Uh, don't slap a man chewing tobacco. Hmm. I I could would have, never could have bad <laughs> could have bad consequences. And you guys go. Out, I would never. Guys go out the front door, leaving a uh, very somber cop and uh, uh, dismembered bodies and blood and broken glass and uh, broken pool cues. Hmm. Um. Would I know that these cues w- are stronger than the broom handle? Even, yes. to drink Ava yes. to leave. I'd say that the tensile strength is greater at the t- <laughs> at the t- at the fat end, but yeah. it gets pretty slender and narrow at the where yeah. you chalk it at at the felt <clears throat> end, and it snapped pretty readily when that one guy hit the lion with it, and didn't live, and didn't live to tell about it. True. <sighs> Uh, you think I you wonder. think these you think these pool cues would really smart if you were to throw it and hit somebody in the head or the cheek with it? Yeah. Um. I mean, I still have my original MacGyver spear. So, did you pick yours up, Sophia? My what? The makeshift spear. Yes. Okay. Do you As want me to walks- try and add the thicker end of a cube stick to it? Yeah, that sounds fun. <laughs> As Shep walks by the the tables, he wants to just grab up a couple of the eight balls. Okay. So you find nothing a, else he can throw them. <laughs> you find a nice pool cue that that splits up into three pieces. And you unscrew the narrowest piece, so you've got a, it's probably about three foot of the of the thickest part of the cue. And yeah, you can affix that spear to the tip of it. Wonderful! Here you go. Uh, uh, I will take some of the duct tape that I had around my forearm for the toilet seat mm-hmm. and put it around this thing. <laughs> Yeah, I imagine there were there was some duct tape back in the uh, in the back room that you heisted. Well, I would definitely have taken a roll of duct tape so that we can make this work. Oh, it's you could, you could fix anything with a craftsman wrench, a little oil. And Ava has WD-40 taken a shot. And... We don't know what to expect these days. Sophia, <laughs> Sophia, that bartender follows you down the um what the bar. Oh, um, she's she's behind the bar. She's following you as you're. On the other side of the bar, making your way to the door, and oh, she winks okay. at you and she says, uh, "I'm free after closing time, darling." Cool. <laughs> yes. She looks at you with a "come hither" sort of look. She looks kind of tough, but she might have a kind of a 
sweet interior underneath that that <clears throat> rash exterior. Says, how old is this woman? <laughs> she looks like in her late twenties, early thirties. She reminds you a little bit of Brittany Poe in a way. <laughs> Just that <laughs> down home southern charming, you know, not highly educated, but street smart. <laughs> Oh, Brittany was cute, but I, I'm focusing on one relationship at a time. She looks at Erica. And, she looks at Erica and winks and says, "I'm jealous." Jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your help. Thanks for your help, young people. Some of the people call out to you. The cop continues. Thank you for the the apple juice looking stuff that I know was definitely not apple juice. <laughs> Your head's starting to spin just a tiny bit. Just, you... Or just a little. <laughs> <laughs> Shep just leaves Ava there talking to all those guys. <laughs> yeah, she's like a she's like Raj from Big Bag Theory. Get a drink her and she forgets her hindrance. She forgets her. <laughs> she's afraid of, uh, she's got a phobia about hmm. boys. She could talk to them when she's had one. Oh my um, god, that yeah. would be so fun, man! That I know that's a hindrance too. The liquid courage mm -hmm. that is a hindrance. Yeah. Eric's got and the bottle in one hand and the bat in the other. God, I <laughs> I still I, I I look over to Shep and point at my arm. It's like sh I should I should give them this toilet seat back. No, <laughs> I leave it for now. They won't notice. Are you are you sure it's somebody will notice some some drunk will go <laughs> some poor drunk woman will go in there and she'll end up uh, getting a butt butt baptism. <laughs> she'll go all the way to porcelain. I cleaned it as good as I could. I I'm <laughs> she's just got like her arm dangling. She's got this big old porcelain. <laughs> Don't worry. Well, it's it's made of like a. You know that heavy, that heavy polymer sort of plastic. Yeah. Oh, you know what it is? It's probably wood with some shellac on it to give it. A, yeah. A, oh yeah. A, she yeah. a shell. Um, she says, oh, "Don't worry, funny. don't worry, darling. There's, there's more filthy things than the uh, toilet in a bar." She shakes her head and says, "Nah, there really ain't." Oh, I, mm. I, I'm, I'm, I've never been in one, and that was the first time, and I don't really like it. <laughs> All right, Shep, where'd you park? Where'd you park that truck of yours? Uh, if I remember right, it was... Out by the street under a light. Yeah. Um, as you oh, I really remember. <laughs> as you stride forward, leading us to your truck, Ava, Erica hands you the bottle. What what is what is this? What is this? Is this what I just had? Shh, it's the root shh, beer. It's, shh. it's the root beer. I'm gonna sniff it. it Shep it, looks it back. Burns. Whoever has the open container sits in the back of the bed of the truck. <laughs> <laughs> There's no Ava here. There never was an Ava. There probably couldn't be an Ava. If there was an Ava, there isn't an Ava anymore. Oh my gosh. You guys hop in the truck. I, yep. Erica has I'm another careful this bottle. Erica has another shot. Swig. Oh my gosh. Wipes her mouth. Belches. Ah, it's good. Oh my gosh. How about you, Sophia? Want another <laughs> want another sip? Oh. I wanna say yes, but I think that would be slightly more irresponsible than I was planning to be tonight. But also, we might die. So here, give me the bottle. She's like, "That's good, darling." Because you know what? I took the oh, bottle. No. I took the bottle, but I didn't take the cap. So oh, you know. Well, we have to finish it. Got, got no way to seal it up. You know, do we? Do we have to finish it? We could pour it. I can pour it. Shep, Shep just looks at it and goes, "You know, that would make a good bomb." Oh darn. That's a good it, idea. I don't know if it's pure alcohol enough. <laughs> yeah, Ava, Ava getting into the chemistry. She said, "Well, actually, <laughs> <laughs> pushes her nose, puts her glasses up her nose a little bit, pushes them up. Well, actually, 
if the alcohol content is not above blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it could create a small incendiary flame. It's not likely to do more than that. And then there Put was alcohol the in Ava and her chemistry, like her, her <laughs> ships is like, yeah. last about. time I saw the witch, she was wearing clothes. <laughs> <laughs> and I would have it to, will uh, burn. I'd have to leave the bottle open ended because the thickness of the, uh, the thickness of the glass is not likely to shatter under less than, you know, 12 uh, square square feet of pressure. So It's glorious. So you guys go driving. You drive by the elementary school. There are no cars in the lot. Not surprisingly. The streets in the parking lot are on, um, but there are no lights on in the elementary school. It's, mm. a, it's a school where you can do a loop, uh, like a loop around it, and there are mm -hmm. no, there are no lights on. Nobody in the playground. Certainly not. Uh huh. For the giggles, I'll have Ava just take another sip. Sure. <laughs> For the giggles. Well, you all have had a a hard night. You've been going at it hard. I mean, Ava, you died and came back for crying out. I know. Uh, that's if, if, why I'm like... if, if any occasion calls for a little uh, liquid courage, you know, no one's going to think uh, less of you. She's a. Uh... She. No judgment. <laughs> no judgment. No. She's staring at it. Well, it's funny because I just imagine she's staring at it super hard and she's thinking about the shot she took at the bar and she was like, you know what? It wasn't that bad. I know why it does what it does to your throat. Mm -hmm. It's not that bad. <laughs> <clears throat> She's like, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it because the girls are just having a blast, apparently, with this bottle. Yep. And Shep is just like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> Ava's had Shep's just like, <laughs> like maybe, maybe it's... <laughs> It's obvious Ava is not a biology major, or she know what it does to her liver. Yeah. <laughs> so Ava, you've got the hiccups now, and try as you <laughs> might, you can't get rid of them. Uh, Shep, where would you like to drive next? Can I turn on the radio? Sure. <laughs> you are not allowed to change the station. I no, I I'm changing the station. What is this? Like? I will slap that hand. Is this like ninety nineties no. techno? Like, um, no, like, this this like, would be like smashing pumpkins. This would right. be pro progre progressive, progressive rock, yes. progressive yeah. indie. All right, Very, uh, got some, yes. probably got some Morrissey and Smith, some Depeche Mode, probably some Tori Amos. It's like yeah. I had to listen sure. to what you wanted on your scooter. You get to listen to my <laughs> to what I want in my you truck. Put anything on on the scooter. Tears for fears, psychedelic furs. Singing along with the smashing pump. That's just song. a technicality. Get your drug <laughs> self back in the back seat. <laughs> Despite of my rage, I'm still just <laughs> <laughs> um, just a squirrel okay. in a cage. Oh my god! Uh, that was <laughs> the the junior high was. Close or was it the high school that was close to the elementary? Neither one of them are close to the elementary, but I mean it's a small town. I thought the um, well, I mean, I was thinking there was one, or was it the college? Something was on the way. The elementary was on the way too. I thought right. The high school, Pine Box High, and the Pine Box Middle School, they are on pieces of property that abut each other. So it's real, it's just, you know, it's a real quick walk to get from the middle school to the high school. Those those complexes are near each other. You pass the elementary school, which is on the way mm -hmm. to this complex. And one, one point about the high school, you know, they're, uh, what's it, the fighting uh, Pine Box Panthers. You can see the panther on that water tower from <laughs> the high school, if you make it that far. You're heading towards the middle school. Uh, okay. Let's see. So, Shep, remind me. I Did you go to elementary school, middle school, high school in Pine yeah. Box? So you know yeah, he's the, local. 
you know the layout of these schools. Now, there have been changes, such as perhaps there was a bit of growth in the number of elementary school students. So they may have had to erect two of those temporary trailers to handle the overflow. So there have been some minor modifications. So your, your memory isn't going to be precise. But overall, you know, you can find your way through any of these schools because you know the layouts. I mean, you walk to these halls okay. many times, you know, from the music room to the gym to the library to the classrooms, you know, in and out to the cafeteria, et cetera, et cetera. Dodging the jocks, yeah. Yeah. So the – so I'm going to have to um, – Let's see, I'm going to change the color of my dice just so things show up a little bit better on the white map. Okay, make them kind of yellow, kind of yellow chalk. There is a an old Volkswagen bug, a beetle, sitting in the parking lot of Pine Box Middle School. It, it was red at one time, but now it's sort of that faded rust color that those vehicles get when they're exposed to the elements for many, many years. And you do... Mm. see light coming from the windows down one side of one of the wings. Okay. I'd like each of you to make a notice roll. I don't believe you. I think the door is still open. Three, one, yeah, I'm just finding my way in my mind. There's light coming out. There's probably some movement from within that you see. You see that? Do, do you see? Did you see that? Did you see it? See what? No, this this is not like the squirrel incident. No, okay? I, mean, I saw I've, that. I, I totally understand what you mean. I saw. I see everything. <laughs> Did you Jeff, see? What it? happened? Where was it? Where, what? <laughs> um. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Chap, what did I miss? <laughs> I, I just point. Is and it I go, real? <laughs> <laughs> we're we're all close enough to each other where we can hear each other. I imagine the squirrel. No, but there's Ava, you... there's a um, light over there with movement. Ah, of course, of course. Ava, you no longer have the hiccups, but now you're giggling uncontrollably. Everything is just so funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there was no squirrel. <laughs> no, no, there was a squirrel. <laughs> of, of course, I saw it. I, I saw it. I remember. Yes. There was. I, I believe you. Did, there was a squirrel. <laughs> You're drunk. Go home. I guess you park your truck kind of uh, on the other side of the, of the middle school. Kind of like out front, but more towards the right yeah. or towards the east. Um, yeah. That uh, that Volkswagen Beetle is parked like in one of the reserved spaces, like right in the front of the school. Probably like reserved for, you know, vice principal or something. Just... Because it is a small town, do I recognize the the Beetle as somebody as a car that's supposed to be here? Make a common knowledge roll at plus one. Okay. Yeah, I was just gonna say, like, is that a a recognizable car? <clears throat> wow. Um, you think you've seen it in town? Nothing about it seems to be affiliated with the school system. Okay. <clears throat> now, people buy and sell used cars all the time. And there are right. some people that see how many years they can get out of a you know, secondhand car without having to junk it. Uh, so it's possible somebody may have bought it. And it's not parked very neatly within the lines. It's kind of at a little bit of an angle. 
I don't know, maybe Ava was driving it because it's parked kind of cantered. And, <laughs> That's about to say, so they, the, they were drunk like the girls. Yeah. Okay. That front tire <laughs> is right up against, you know, the little cement separators that keep you from pulling all the way up to the school. It's probably kind of the, the front tire is bumped up against that little cement. Yellow. It's painted a little uh, divider. a little beetle. You said. Yeah, a little red Volkswagen bug. Ava is gonna tap everyone in the shoulder with the noodle arm punch punch buggy. <laughs> 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 I just look over at Eric and go, "This is your fault." Uh, also, a little bit mine. <laughs> <laughs> Good for Benny. Punch buggy. <laughs> I'll put you guys on the map. Right out front. I'm not sorry. You're out front of the school. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <clears throat> Is there Chef. anything left in the bottle? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's probably about an inch and a half at the bottom. Shep, your arm's kind of sore. She punched you harder than she thought she was going to, or meant to. Or maybe she meant to. It's hard to say. It's really hard to say. Mm -mm -mm. You no, know, you know, it doesn't taste so bad after you've had it more than once. That's what you said about Mir's fancy cigarettes. Oh, no. I've never had any fancy cigarettes. No. He is spewing lies. <laughs> this though I mean it, it it looks like apple juice but I know it's not apple juice and it, I just go like remember a... when he said they were special brownies special brownies oh and then God. I walk I start walking <clears throat> sure. sure for for even more lulls while everybody leaves Ava will finish the bottle <laughs> Okay. Boy. Wait, why are there? Is there two of me? <laughs> what is this? I can't. There's three. two of you. I only see one. I mean, maybe to Ava. <laughs> it might there's, be two. There's two Sophias. Who? Who is the real me? I only see one. I only see one. Do you see two of you? I. I yes. Move, move the one that's Have you. Have a ghost. Move the one that's you. Okay. I don't see. I only see one <clears throat> Sophia. Okay, I'm going to... Um, yeah, same. <clears throat> Although that could change very quickly. I, I just look at Sophia and go, no, huh? I don't. I don't have a ritual for for mirror image. Um, <laughs> I think you're just drunk. I, um... No. Ava, no, you think that's you, you think that's ins right. you think that's insanely funny, by the way. <laughs> oh no, we're supposed to be qu we gotta be quiet, guys. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We have to <laughs> We're quiet. This is quiet. It's hide and seek time. <laughs> and... This bottle, I'm going to bring it over to Chef, and I'm going to give it to him. And be like, look, you can whack it over the head of somebody. Yeah, good. You saw mm -hmm. that You saw that one guy in the bar break one and use it as a, uh, like a slicing tool to, to try to cut the, the mm -hmm. calf and the Achilles tendon of the cowardly lion. I, I don't know if we can break it on somebody's head because it's kind of thick. But you could probably whack it over somebody's head. I think mean, that'd be really funny. <laughs> Erica comes up behind you and she says, we need to be quiet. And for some reason, that startles the heck out of you. You didn't see her sneak up behind you. Ah! And say that. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Erica, make an, make an, don't make, sneak up. Make an agility. Uh, agility. Yes. Here we go. <laughs> you almost dropped. You almost dropped the bottle, but you finished the whole bottle. Oh, oh my gosh, Erica! You can't sneak up on people like that, darling. I wasn't, darling. I wasn't trying. I guess you were just uh, 
you're so enamored with that handsome young man that you weren't paying attention to what was behind you. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. You can't tell him I think he's handsome. He's right there. I think he heard you, darling. No, you don't. No. Oh, my gosh. No. <laughs> she shakes her head. That door over there ain't locked. In fact, it was open a little tiny bit. I just pushed on it. It came from open right away. So we're, go we're going over there? Sounds like school's in session, darlings. <gasps> Is that a funny? <laughs> we're gonna, gonna grab Shep's hand and we're gonna go up behind uh, over there. Come on, let's go. Sophia, that door's locked. Oh, oh, whoops. Uh, I knew that. Mm -hmm. You're just testing. Gosh, Sophia, you silly. <laughs> Shep, Shep, you know this place? Yeah. I spent most of my middle school uh, behind, the, behind the wood shop necking. <gasps> and well, then she, she looks at you, like Ava. Cool. She's like, with boys. <gasps> <laughs> Funny oh that God. I spent most of my time just avoiding uh, the popular people like you. I understand. There's a t those those atomic wedgies can leave a scar on mm -hmm. your, on your psyche. Where we're going, Shep? You you, you you know where where that room's at? Is it down them steps? Mm. You think that it was the uh, the main level? <clears throat> okay, yeah. So, I'm going to turn over to Sophia and be like, is this Shep's old school? I think so. <gasps> so the main level is just up the steps, right? Correct. To the corridor. Correct. And, he was and I just, just motion this way. Feeling. He was little Shep here. <laughs> he was little, like me. I'm little. <laughs> <laughs> do, you think, do you think he was as little as me? I'm pretty sure, yeah. <laughs> You're thinking oh it's, it's how, how funny it would be to listen to have been there to listen when Shep's voice was changing. <laughs> I just I look at Erica now and I go, they're not going to be quiet. I'm totally quiet. I'm the quietest person here. <laughs> I wonder what... What year did the Breakfast Club come out? Because Erica's about to say something like, "We're the Breakfast Club," you know, the jock, oh, the cute. nerd, the outcast. You know, <laughs> I think it was in the eighties, nineteen eighty-five. All right, so yeah. it, would have, it would have been out by then. So, like, she, yeah, she would know. Erica's like, <laughs> "Yeah, yeah, we just like the just like the brat pack, ain't we?" <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> Oh my goodness. Ka-chunk, 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 ka-chunk. Oh lord. Nothing's quite as loud as a pair of cowboy boots down an empty corridor. <laughs> yeah. Try to, try to stumble behind. Quiet, quiet stumbling. Quiet stumbling. Uh, I will do my best to follow behind her. Yes. I'm going to unlock tokens as I'm, yeah, cool. cool. And I'm thinking it was this way. All right. From the way you described it. Because it was on this, we saw it on the, when we were on the side of the building. Yeah. Is that right? Yes. A figure steps okay. out. A figure steps out of the staircase, out of the stairwell. <clears throat> He just steps out of the shadow like he wasn't there, and now he is there. And Shep, do you recognize him? It says Forrester Harris. Oh, funny. Uh, what well, would it be? I, I guess I should have changed that so it didn't say. Is that a <laughs> mention? I wonder. I, wonder is I, that, I remember it, him. Is that something you can change? Can you like? Uh, um, 
Oh, yes. Set it to like unidentified. Un- unidentified, yeah. Let me see if I change that. You have to go to the NPC block. Uh, yeah. Did and... that change it? Does he still have a name? No, no name. No, I can't. It didn't. So, I can't scroll over it. Did it say Forrester and that now it doesn't? Right. Yeah, cool. It didn't say anything now. Cool. I was wondering how you do that. It's the little ID. <laughs> um, I'm assuming. This man is a small man, elderly, but still quite spry. He looks a little bit like one of the Hogwart, not Hogwarts, but the, the goblins from Harry <laughs> Potter. He looks like one of the goblins. I think his okay. name is Bo- Bograd was the one that he kind of resembles. He's got kind of a crooked nose with a little, uh, a little, a little bump on it. They make it look a little bit hooked and put little po- ears that almost look like they're pointed. They definitely do stick out a bit. And he's very small and wizened. And he steps right out. And he says, hello, young people. Hello. I guess there's a Benny on the table for the first person to tell me where you saw him last. The theater. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> I I do remember him from the theater. He is the He's owner of and the proprietor of the Pine Box Pawn. Not the Fork It Up Pawn Shop, where that guy, oh, Kyle yeah. Sibley, sold you uh, a, a ninja outfit, Shep, and that. climbing gear. Okay. No, this is the other pine shop in town. This is the pine shop. Pawn shop? No. The pawn shop that sells uh, your, your higher quality rarities. Uh, crystal decanters, wine glasses, if there were weapons, it might be a matched set of dueling pistols in a wooden box with felt inlay. Um, rare books, um, pieces of jewelry, okay. items like that. If it, if you wanted to buy, so he a dagger, got the fancy pawn shop. Yeah, he's got the kind of the, the rarities pawn shop. Not dealing in bulk, but dealing in very select items to a select clientele. This is not you would not go to his shop to buy a pair of speakers, for example. Right. He's he's the one that deals with the rich families. Curios. Um, a, a, a gilded hand mirror. Oh, something like that. Hello, young people, he says as he steps out. I hope I didn't startle you. Mm, I'm not sure we can be startled right now. Uh, with everything that's been going on. Hmm. I'm going to stumble over here by ship and just like lean over like, oh, is that man? I saw him at the theater ship. I saw him at the theater. Didn't <laughs> we? So like small. He, We met him or, or were in the room with him at the beginning, right? Right. Yeah. Where they had Talking sort of a meet, meet and greet, rub elbows with the Shakers and the movers of Pine Box, the APBO, yes. the Association of Pine Box Business Owners. There was um wine and grapes and crackers and little sliced uh, cheeses and, and you know pepperoni sized meats. Mm-hmm. You met a you met probably upwards of oh a dozen folks of some notoriety in Pine Box, and he was one of them. I've not yet had the pleasure face to face. Although I do recognize you from the theater. I am Forrester Harris. I own and operate Pine Box Pawn. Who are you and why are you here? Excuse me. Who are you and why are you here? I am, <laughs> I am, For, I am Forrester Harris. I am the owner and operator of the Pine Box Pawn. But this isn't Pine Box Pawn. It is not. Very astute. Um, it checks out, Shep. <laughs> I'm going to say. <laughs> well, hey there, hey there, little darling. My, you is a tiny one, ain't you? I'm Erica. I'm, I'm Erica. I go to the college here in town. Shep, she calls him a tiny one. <laughs> 
We've been following a trail of um, destruction. And it led to here. I see. Oh, I see. Why, why are you here exactly? I am here because there is an individual that is here that should not be here. There is an individual that should not be in this world at present. And she is right. exceedingly wicked. Yeah. Yeah, she right. was... Um, yes. I'm trying to remember the guy's name. She, she took a little boy. I was sitting by. I was trying to help him. And then he just left. Yes. The uh, person that brought them out of the... Into the realm. Uh, he left, but he basically said he wanted to sow chaos. You were speaking of the demon Tadriel. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Is that the guy who body slammed me, Shep? He, he, well, no. Well, <laughs> anybody no, that was you. that was Lenny that body slammed. I know. But, oh, I know. But, I, yeah, I know his you know. on purpose. He was possessed by that guy. Yes. <gasps> the meanie. Um, we've the rest of the ones. As far as we know, there's just a uh, winged monkey. And I just look to see if I see any wings around. Make a, make a, and, notice, make a notice roll. Now that, you no. mentioned, now that you mentioned it, wow! you put two and two together and you realize that there was a winged monkey on the roof right above the room where the light was shining out, the classroom. Okay. Up in the shadows. You, you couldn't account for why there was a shadow moving up on top of the school. Shouldn't have been. You thought it was a trick of the lights. Maybe your headlights you know, kind of partially occluded shining at the side of the building, which has its own lights, and the light inside the classroom. But, you know, with a 15 on a notice roll, I'm going to say you're fairly sure there was one hunkered down on the roof. Ah, yes, the minions, Forrester says. The yeah. Um... The boy you seek is also with her. From what I've seen, he is not right. in danger, but does... Mm. Yeah, he should be returned to his mother. Yeah, he's that the issue. He believes that these are his friends. Ah, such is the magic of the ring. Mm -hmm. He's wearing a ring. You're right. I tried to take it, but he didn't want to. He didn't want to give it to me. He looks at you uncertainly. He doesn't know if you are, like, mildly retarded. Oh no! But he has the good sense not to, not to say anything um, questionable, for he knows you know, people from all walks of life. You know, we are all smart in our own way. Yes, he's, he's she is smart in her own way. <laughs> he's, he's wondering if oh you're, my gosh, if you're on the spectrum. Actually, I'm going to see if he. Uh, I'm going to see if he can smell your breath. <laughs> well, they are the You're same size, right? probably the same size. He could probably ascertain that it is all gall. No. He says, uh, yes, um, you especially seem to be very badly shaken by, by the occurrence this night. Um, it, it will be many nights before uh, they fade a bit into your memory. Um, such is the nature of, of that which we do. Mm -hmm. Do any of you have, do any of you have any cold iron? <clears throat> Unfortunately, cold iron. um, 
Probably not. Again, I did not bring not that. Understood. It would all depend on what would have been in Shep's truck. Because I know he had a coat iron something. Crowbar, maybe? Yeah. And I'm assuming that he would, that would have been something that he would have left, you know, in the. All right, make it so. In the make it so. back of the truck, so. Make it so. He says, and he would give that to Erica <laughs> if, if he has it. Well, all right, darling. You are much better at that than I am. <laughs> Ava, you want this Maybe bat? Erica. Sophie, you want this bat? I'll take a bat. All right. Well, it belongs to that convenience store. If we're uh, happening back that way sometime, we can drop it off and say we had to borrow it. Of, of course, we're going to drop it off. Yes, that's a great <clears throat> idea. The, um, uh, the witch. The one that appears like the movie character um, has surrounded herself with powerful magics. She has created a, a sphere of uh, of warding to make it difficult for mm. us us to get through. She is with the boy, and she is schooling him in the way of magic, in the way of dark magics. Magic moves foul. Yes. How do you know about all of the magic stuff? Because I was watching. I watched from outside of the circle. So engrossed in the, in the studies were they that they did not see me. At least I judged they did not see me. <clears throat> Everyone else seems to be really confused about magical stuff, but you're not confused. Where do you come from? I just like arch my ar eyebrow when she says everybody else. <laughs> Why I come from, I come from here. At one time I was the mayor of Pine Box, Texas many years ago. Mm. After my retirement I liked it so much that I decided to uh, to set up shop. I don't make much of a living, but the people that I meet are the finest I've ever seen. Oh. Okay. Um. <laughs> it, incidentally, he has the ugly hindrance. I've tried to describe him as ugly. Yeah. I do remember that. I'm just thinking with Ava, she probably thinks he's a troll doll. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, if he and I are about the same height, she's yeah. She's like four foot eleven. Yeah. If you were blue, you could be Smurfs. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right. He, he, um, he toddles he toddles he toddles away. Um, ten feet or so. How do we get rid of these this word stuff? Shep, you do cool stuff with your magic and cool stuff with your hands. Can you do stuff with the war? I don't think we've come across a ritual like that. He says, oh, leave that to me. Okay. But, but, oh. but once it is dropped, we may not have a lot of time to rescue the boy and to dispatch old, green, old greenie. <sighs> Shep. Does Shep feel like it's time to try to renew his uh, protection spell, or does he feel like it's still going? Uh, it, it probably was flickering out as soon as you slid behind the truck. From the seat. Okay. I would at least try to do that again okay. for the same two people. Mm. I still have a cult. Forrester does not seem surprised, and in fact, he can help with that. So you pull out another little piece of worn leather that has been mm -hmm. wrapped with a length, several inches of bailing wire, as wire and leather are the two components. Yep. And two easy things to come across when your family owns a farm. Yeah, they are. Uh, 
you know, what you would call, you know, easy, easy to come by. Common. Common. Yeah. Ritual components. Um, <clears throat> you start to chant. Can we do the the rolls to help? Forrester tries to help. He succeeds. He'll give you a plus one. Anyone else care to wish to try? Yes. Supportive girlfriend <laughs> on the rise. <laughs> it's like, see, Shep, you can do it. You have really cool magic stuff. You know, like in like in all of those games we play, you're like cool Mega Man shooting things out of your hands. You can do it. <laughs> Shep, I see a plus two showing. Yep. Oh, is he doing the magic thing? He is. So yes, there's seven. So. Do, do a great, big, wonderful magic thing. Was so that's one, once. Was that seven? Okay. The plus two. You type that in because it's a bonus yeah. from your friends. Very good. Mm -hmm. That is a success. But not with, not with a raise. That is one success in one round. Would you like to continue? Yes, please. In for a penny, in for a pound, as the saying goes. Forrester again, with his knowledge of a cult. Succeeds and gives you a plus one. I will do... Uh, I will do a cult this time. Try to join in <laughs> in her drunken state. <laughs> Very good. I'm not going to impose a penalty because it's... It's a cult. <sighs> she did it. Success with the raise. She's focusing really hard. A plus three is the most that you will be able to uh, benefit from. So, Shep, make your roll at plus three. Okay. You've got one success showing. And the dice are rolling. A 14. Success with two raises. That means you Glorious. have four successes in just two rounds. <clears throat> One more success. Okay. And you will have successfully again cast the, uh, the ritual. Forrester again will try to aid you with his knowledge of the occult. An eight. It's going to be a success with a raise. It's going to be a plus two to your roll. Ava, would you like to try? Hmm. We have a plus two showing. Uh, to support him again? Correct. You don't have to. I I shall do so. Won't, um, be, a, won't be a good time to crit fail. <laughs> no. Um, I haven't done it this whole game, please. I don't think so. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> oh my god. I have done a cult. I've done persuasion. Uh, let's do... You can always do a cult. Okay. We'll do a cult. Oh. It was three. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a failure. Not a critical failure. Yeah. I can also provide... Uh... Um, friendly emotional support and encouragement. Please do, please do so. Would this be performance, or pers really performance persuasion? Words. Would it be taunt? Would it be threat? Intimidate? Let's you, call it performance. You better cast this. You're gonna be great. It's gonna be awesome. It's, it's amazing, big, awesome things. There we go. Yay! Talk about your awesome. The bubblegum. Bubblegum pink dice come up at an 11, which is just shy of two raises. Yeah. Um, Shep, you've gleaned maximum benefit of plus three. For this roll, you need only one success. And look at that. A 10. A success. Glorious. Similar effect as before.
with a 10. That's a success with a raise. Raise. So we'll benefit from four points. Would you like to apply it to toughness? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, the same two people. And what form does this manifest in? It's just going to be the same as the last time. Wonder Woman and Squirrel Girl. Wonder Woman. You have a semi-drunk Ava thinking she's Squirrel Girl. <laughs> I just I look over at Forrester and I go, it makes them happy. He looks she at you. She is early sitting there like, yay. He cocks his head, Forrester Harris does, and looks at you. He's appraising you, Chef. He says, well done. You are a, uh, a ritualist of some skill. I'm impressed. Well, my grandmother has taught me well. I'd like to hear a, yeah. I'd like to hear about this grandmother at some point in time, but now is not the mm -hmm. time as he takes a few steps down the hall. 